Welcome to another of Let's Play Farming Simulator 2013 on the Bayer Farm. All right, so we got a couple things going on today. Um, just finishing off the last little bit of the harvest from last episode. This is the last 600 liters in the class here. Let's just go ahead and unload that. And, uh, not wheat, I guess we were harvesting barley. I don't know why I thought it was wheat. Oh well. So, let's unload that. Excellent. So we have $61,000 now. And we're kind of on a halfway point towards a couple things. Now, we could get some more cows. That is one option. We could get some bigger equipment, so i.e. a bigger cedar. Uh, so those are a couple of the options that uh, I was thinking about. There we go that right there for now and do anything else yes we're gonna need this eventually so our pigs do need some water and some other things but oops I don't know if it's worth giving them too much more than they already have because I won't be able to keep up at all in terms of the materials they actually need so anyways the other thing we got going on is we have our Ford currently putting this are putting our grass in the windrows. He's just finishing up here. I started him off uh, not too long ago. So he's got, I think he's got maybe the headlands left and that's about it. And then he will be done. And then what I'll do is I'll put him on the straw field uh, or the barley and then get him to pick up the straw from that. So the reason why, oh, he's doing this right now. Oh, he's like pretty much done then, sweet. Um, so the reason why we're doing this is because we do need grass, specifically silage, um, mainly for uh, the extra side income is what it kind of boils down to. Actually, now that we've harvested, oh, I totally forgot, we actually have some barley we can sell as well. Hmm. Uh, let's wait until this guy finishes up and then we will go and sell some barley. Um, because that might give us a little bit of extra money and that might bring us up to maybe eighty thousand dollars somewhere in that range uh, which brings us a little bit closer to the next stage so we could buy like I said more cows we could actually buy the zoom hammer with that but I don't think it's worth it yet only because that's only for liquid manure and we don't quite produce quite enough of that yet um, we do want to head in that direction just because it is a, a cool piece of equipment um, no, we don't need one of those. We don't need any of that. No. We have a forge wagon. We don't need a bale or anything. Don't need any of those. Don't need a weight. Don't need miscellaneous stuff. Or maybe we do. Let's just check quickly. While we're waiting for our Ford to finish up doing its windrows. Um, no, no. Doesn't, it doesn't seem... We don't seem to need any of, the, any of this stuff. We could actually get this. Hmm. It only holds... 40 cows, I think. Not very many. $23,000 is probably not worth it. Alright, perfect. He has done this bit of work here. I'm just going to... Get this last little bit here. Might as well. Perfect. Alright. I'm not too worried about the end a little bit, so it'll grow back, so. Let's head over to our other field here. Let's just put it in a transport position. Probably shouldn't be driving this quickly with it down anyways. But um, I'm gonna drive it over here. Now this is field 38. Or apparently field 39, because I didn't name it right. And what edge of the corner is a southwest heading north headland yes we'll do it after generate course and we'll call this F38 wind row or we can call it rake I suppose that would probably make more sense or actually you know what we'll do is F38 Rake 8.8 .8 meters, just so I know. Just for 
future reference sake. So I'll cancel or delete the other one. There we go. Perfect. And the thing with this, uh, if you remember from previous times, uh, we actually had to put it into this mode, which is take it out of transport mode. And you actually need to lower these ones as well first, like that. And then it works. So he's going to go around and collect all the straw for us into Windrose, and then I can just set it up so it uh, so it automatically loads the straw up. And we could we could actually make this into chaff now that I think about it as well. That's another possibility. All right. So while he's doing that, we will go sell some barley. And where is a good place to sell barley? Um, no, Ian, stop there. Jeez. Um, Bawa, New. Doesn't seem to make a difference. 300 for pigs? Oh, we may have to sell some pigs. I don't know where that place is. 350. And the handler. The handler is that place just south of us. I think we'll go sell the barley there. And that, sh I'm not sure how much money it's going to give us. Like I said, it might give us around the $80,000 mark, uh, which isn't too bad. Uh, where is it? Gerst is what we need. Oh, right there. So we'll see how much money we get from this, and then we'll uh, make some decisions uh, around that after we see how much we get. Because we could theoretically sell our pigs, but then we don't have any form of, any way of fertilizing our field. So that's kind of the reason why I'm a little reluctant to uh, sell all the pigs. But we could sell some of them still. Uh, now, I have to bring up the map, and I think we can go south here, I want to say it was, for the handler. I think this is where it was. As long as I drive a little bit slower and pay attention to the map, it should be pretty easy to figure out where it is. I don't think they have signs for all the cells, cell points. Like, they have signs for some of the bigger things, but not for... I don't think they do, at least for the cell points. Uh, let's see if I can find a sign, because it may actually do it. Yeah, there's a sign here, actually. So as long as I follow the signs, is this the... No, that's just for the... Um, hmm, that's strange. It's only for the... What do you ever gonna call it? Car wash. There we go. Wow. Took a long time to get that word. Oh, goodness. Alright, so let's unload here. Should accept barley. Excellent. Good. And this is the handler one, so let's just double check. Uh, it's not the V handler because it actually accepts stuff here. So yeah, this must be what it is. Excellent. And apparently, can you sell pigs here too? I don't think so. All right, let's see what we get. Sixty-one thousand. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we're gonna get just. We're gonna just crack seventy-two thousand. That's not too bad, I guess. 72,000 isn't quite as much as I would like, still, but it's better than nothing. Uh, so, let's head north. Oh, why did I do this this way? Let's just drive through the field here. No one's going to know the difference. Nothing to look here, just keep on moving. Alright, so we're going to head back to the... Back to base, I keep wanting to call it. And then we're going to go from there. I think what we're need to, going to need to do is do some chaff, um, so we have enough money, some more play money, so to speak, because what we need basically is we need uh, a certain amount of money just to get to where we want to be, so it doesn't, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like our cows are going to be profitable enough in order to make any headway. Which is a wee bit annoying. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I think it seems to really depend on the map itself, because some maps you do make quite a bit from milk. 
in other maps you don't make nearly as much. So I don't know why this particular map it just seems like I don't make very much from milk. Maybe it's just because I only have 60 cows, but uh, like I've said before, if you have 60 cows, it probably means you have about 120 cows on your farm and you're not milking all. So maybe that's what that, that's what it calculates on here. It's only calculated on the fact that I have 60 cows, but only 30 of them are milking cows. I don't know. Somehow I doubt that's what it does, but it's a nice thought at least. So now the funny thing is, this particular wind uh, rake is only I think it does eight, nine meters. I think it is, and our the header on our combine I think is like six or seven meters. So I'm only really getting an, uh, a meter and a half. But the reason why I'm doing this, like I've said before, is because of course play and that combine I have don't work very well together just because it doesn't unload it properly which is a bit strange so uh, because of that I'm just going to do it this way which it's not that bad of a not terrible because it allows me to collect the extra straw on the side that I would normally have to do and it also allows me to just to walk away from this guy when he's doing his wind rows and also the collecting I don't need to follow that so which is nice very very nice all right so we have this guy set up uh, he's ready to go on these fields so not mow I want you on grass windrow like so and set him up do I need to hook up the PTO it looks like I do let me just do that quickly it looks like he uh, there we go uh, so let's set him up the first waypoint you should be okay this tractor is more than powerful enough to run this why is that tire locked that's weird uh, this tra sorry that distracted me for a second this tractor is more than powerful enough to run that um, forge harvester you don't even need that much horsepower for it um, but it's there it's hooked up so it's ready to go all right, so this shouldn't take too long, um, but we do need to stay on top of this because it allows us to, uh, let's just check how much grass we have first. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna switch them regardless. Uh, Zed, great. Uh, and the reason why I wanna switch him is just so we can give this grass directly to our cows and sheep and whatnot, our sheep. Why do I keep wanting to say sheep? Our pigs. Um, because if we give it to our pigs, then that keeps their productivity up, which is nice. Well, as high as we can get it. Right now it's 80%. I don't know how. It has silage and total mixed rations, and I guess that's the reason why. But It's kind of surprising, but I, I, I can dig it. I'm, I'm fine with that. can't believe I just said I can dig it. Huh. I feel like I... Uh, that's not something I would normally say. But... I said it. It's done. Can't change it now. I must say, that JCB is a nice tractor. EuroDZN did a really good job on that thing. Don't know why the tire has locked up at this particular time, but other than that little quibble at the moment, it uh, is a nice, nice mod. Um, it does seem to get a pretty high top speed, actually. As I mentioned before, like the top speed is something like 40 or 50 kilometers so it is a bit on the high side but other than that like it's kind of it's a pretty darn good tractor so oh, I need to speed up a little bit here I don't know if it matters how close you are to this forager I think sometimes it, it does like the closer you are the more material actually gets into your truck whereas other times the less material like the further away you get the less material gets in I'm not sure if that's true or not but it does appear that way sometimes, so. Just a minor observation that I've noticed over the past. Wow, I really shouldn't be driving over the uh, the ditch like that. <laughs> but I'm doing it. There's more than one way to skin a cat in this game. All right, let's just speed up a little bit here. There we go. It does seem like you do get a lot more, I should say, more this way if you're close. Like, right now it's going straight in there, so. 
I think actually in this particular forager, you'd have to manually uh, adjust that chute, which would make it really difficult to drive and do that at the same time. I think. It's probably hydraulic. So, or maybe it's just sticks in one particular place and it's not as bad as I think it is, but I really don't know how that would actually work. But if I were to put it all into the same place like it is right now, you'd have a huge mound in the middle of your truck and then nothing else anywhere else. So that would present a bit of a problem, but not in this game. Not in this game. I'm mean, here a lot of talk on... Um, uh, from different people about the American Euro Truck. Uh, well, I think it's UIG is doing an American Trucker and version of the game, basically, of Euro Truck Simulator. And it's supposed to be coming out at some point uh, in the near future, so could be interesting to take a look at that. I don't know. I may or may not play it. I played Euro Truck a bit, the demo, and I was like, eh, it's okay. I don't know. I told my girlfriend I might play it, and she was like, I think you would probably get bored of that game quickly so if I were to play it at all it wouldn't be an everyday thing not by a long shot maybe once a week or something but for now we're gonna stick with the uh, farming simulator because I love this game it is a fun game all right so let's whoa let's just uh, give this to our wow I was going so slow and I just that's crazy um, I'm gonna give this to our uh, let's Let's give it to our cows first, because they're quote unquote our money maker, or supposed to be at least. Um, it'd be nice if they actually made us a lot of money, but so far they have not been that helpful in terms of the getting lots of money, but like I said, maybe it's just because they don't have enough cows, which is probably the case. Good. And let's give the rest to our pigs, which will probably, I believe this registers as silage for them, not as grass, for whatever reason. That's fine by me, I guess. As long as we can keep their productivity up and they keep producing manure and liquid slurry and reproducing pigs, we should be fine. There we go. Now, we got to be a little weird here because this is a funny drop-off area. And apparently they have enough for six days already. So, all right, well, fine then. Uh, so what we're gonna do with the rest of this is I'm gonna put it into our silage bunker because we do need to continually make silage. Just the way it rolls. And I think I should be able to put this straight in there. I don't know why I wouldn't be, but this game, stranger things have happened in this game. All right. Is that going to be... should do. There we go. Perfect. So just going to drop this off here and then go finish up the rest of that foraging. And actually, before we do that, let me just... Uh, let me just go check on our Ford to see how he's doing because... I'm make sure he does a good job. He's doing an excellent job. He is running getting lower on fuel though uh, which could or this which could be a problem at some point and the nice thing about this field it's a nice long field so putting these into windrows makes it is a really easy thing to do sometimes when you get like a really awkward shaped field um, it's terrible to pick up windrows and well with course play at least I should say if you do it manually it's always easy because you just do it yourself but uh, if you want to try and use course play, or if you want to try and do it as a hard worker to harvest the field, not so easy at all. Um, yeah. He's almost done. He's got maybe one, two, three more passes. Like two more passes, and then the windrow, or then the headland, looks like. Excellent. All right, let's hop in here. And... So the other reason why we want to make continually make silage is because by making more silage, we can make more money if, when we need to. And I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it all the time, but I definitely want to be able to progress, and that's the reason why I'm doing silage a little bit more often. Um, because if I didn't, like I said last episode, we probably wouldn't be making any progress. 
if we had to wait for our cows to produce enough milk to make enough money to do to, to buy a tractor ugh, be painfully long painfully long so maybe what we should try and do then is maybe we should try and uh, head towards doing some silage uh, closer to the BGA maybe get uh, a Jaguar set up down there uh, a class Jaguar I'm referring to get something like that set up down there with a corn and plant some corn actually we can do corn here too hmm now that I think about it but we have enough grass we don't really need to plant corn to make chaff in reality not in this map at least although in real life you would probably make silage from corn not from grass but it works both ways so it's possible at least alright is that tire still locked up? yeah that's weird Probably if I reset that tractor, it'll be fine. But right now, that tire is locked up, and it does not look cool. All right, let's just line up here once again. I suppose I could have course played this, but if I course played this as well, I wouldn't have anything to do. That's <laughs> what it pulls down to. Uh, and you know, I could do that. You know, if we had enough things going on all at the same time, I definitely would do it. But we uh, don't have because we're trying to focus on cows. It's funny. Basically, what would it boil down to? If I only did cow-related stuff, it would be cow maintenance all the time. So it would be like, all right, well, got to give her a cow silage. Or, okay, got to give her a cow's mixed rations. It's, I don't know. It's not, it can be difficult to maintain as you get more cows. But as of right now, it's not. Not yet. So I think what we'll do first is, the next thing we'll do is we will, I think we'll get a, a new cedar just to make the well the time in between harvests a little bit less just for me personally and either that or get more cows but cows don't really haven't been panning out <laughs> so and the zune hammer i guess cedar first zune hammer no cedar first and then i think maybe more cows and then maybe zune hammer we'll see how much money we get so what I might do is I might do a harvest or two off camera just so we make some progress so you don't have to see this every single time at least. Um, that's what I might do in this circumstance. And then come back at some other later point where we have some more money so we can buy some things. Otherwise it is going to be a lot of, well, a lot of the same I suppose. Excellent. Good. We're getting, we got what? One full load from this. And we may get a second full load from this, which will be excellent. Uh, check, sh give me a sec. Let me check, show you the lights on this thing. It is a cool, has some cool lights. Let me just speed up here for a second. There we go. Ah, uh, wow. It's not going to keep the lights on if I'm not in the tractor. That's unfortunate. Oh, wow, that was a pretty close turn. I'm surprised the course play guy continued. Must be my super awesome driving. Probably not. <laughs> it's probably just me staying out of his way, basically. Good. We're almost done here. I should see the Ford. I should see a message from the Ford saying, we are finished here as well. So that'll be good as well. Now, I... If you recall, when I had the more realistic mod installed, you, you did get a, a crazy amount of silage from grass. Now, because I don't have it installed this time around, we're not getting as much silage. Like we're still getting hundred thousand plus liters from it, but not uh, not nearly at the pace we were getting before on the Serbian farm with the more realistic mod installed. So, in light of that, it may be worthwhile worthwhile to plant some corn and maybe do some silage with the corn it's a different possibility uh, because if we do something like that um, that means we could get more silage so that's another thing to th consider I suppose but that would mean we'd have to get something to do silage with the corn actually you know what we can do uh, since we have this hooked up um, Let's just finish rest this little bit here, and then we're gonna try 
and use this JFT on the corn just to see if it actually does. Because some I forget who said it in the comments, but someone suggested I do that. And I don't think this one works like that. This one's more meant for picking stuff off the ground um, as opposed to chopping it directly off the stock. Like the for the kid forge harvester will do that, but this one won't. So not that I'm aware of, at least. Excellent. Let's go dump this off here, and then let's go to give that a try, because I'm kind of curious now. I am kind of curious about that. Whoa, what happened there? Jeez. Oh my goodness. That was ridiculous. I don't think it would speed up quite like that, but... Uh, I guess it did. I apparently just knocked those uh, straw bales away. Oh well. Oh well. Nothing I can do about that. Didn't even see those. Trees got in my way. Alright. JCB is finished. The forge should be finished soon as well. So I'm just going to hop right into this and then drive it over to the corn. And see if we can do the same thing on the corn. Because how much straw do we actually have? We have 150,000 liters of straw, so we are good on straw already. So maybe what we'll do is we will just turn it into chaff as well. But let's just see this tractor so smooth. Love it. All right, so let's give this a go. There we go. Let's put it in. I don't think this will work, but uh, in light of testing it out to see if it will, let's just see. Yeah, I didn't think this was. So this one doesn't work on like this, like the F Kid Forge Harvester. Um, so I kind of figured that was going to be the case, but I thought I'd give it a go just in case. And our Ford is finished. Awesome, so we don't actually don't need any straw. Oh, that looks so nice now. Perfect. Uh, we actually don't need any straw. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, uh, let's, let's just start. Uh, rake. And I don't need straw, but I do need chaff because, <clears throat> excuse me, I do need chaff because we do need the um, silage, basically. Uh, for the money, that's what it boils down to. It's always about the money. So what we'll do is I'll start... I'll do this a little bit on camera for you guys, just to show you um, <laughs> how it works with straw. Um, which is exactly the same way it works with uh, grass, basically. But, yeah. Alright, and then what we'll do is I will plant that field as canola, I think, uh, because there's a great demand coming up for canola. Here we go. And this should be nice and easy because it's a nice long field. And I think, yeah, so this is this is going to be chaff automatically, even if I have it set to, even if I have it set to uh, grass, because you can't really make grass out of straw. It doesn't work that way. Nursery Bob, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think I should do next? I'm kind of curious. Um, some people probably think I should buy some more equipment, get some more fields. Unfortunately, to get some more fields, we need more money, and to get more money, either A, we need to do a lot more silage, or B, sell some more stuff. Like, you saw how much we got for the barley. It wasn't that much, so it's a bit unfortunate, but it is the way it is on this particular map. I do like this map though. I love the green of the map. Love the I love how like some fields actually roll down and whatnot, which is kinda cool. So I wanna say I actually have a core set up for this. What if I do? 38 fruit BGA to farm, 38 silage. Oh, maybe I do. Maybe I do. Oops, totally just drove through a sign there. And those ones too. You didn't see anything. But I don't know if I said this before, I'm sure I have, but some maps, I found some German maps have, tend to have like some things that you can drive through and other things that you can't. Like, for example, those signs obviously I just drove through. Um, 
but it's it's not like everything. Some things yes, some things no, and it's nice because usually the things that you can drive through are the things that are around the outside of the field. So it just makes it more enjoyable to actually do some work around the field. Whereas some other maps have like a ridiculous amount of stuff around your field, which just makes it uh, just painful to play on. So uh, let's just try this course. I'm not sure. I think I can do this, this, and this, and this. And let's just see. Oops, it's got out of his way. So, just see where he goes. Alright, anyways, I'm going to stop the course. Stop the course. Stop the episode there for now. And what I'll do is I'll finish with a silage on this field right here. So you guys don't have to watch it again. And I will finish planting this field. And then fertilizing this field. And maybe I'll do a couple, a couple harvests. And I'll come back when we have... Um, maybe enough money to buy something. I think that's what I'll do. Um, or else you'll see a lot of this over and over again, unfortunately, so. All right, so that's it for today, folks. My name's Ian Robson. This has been Farming Simulator 2013, and we're playing on the Bayern Farm. Catch you guys later.